Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to help you figure out where to put your main base in Valheim. It can be quite confusing, because the Valheim map is absolutely huge. So, if you're trying to figure out where the best place for your main base is, and you're a new Valheim player, playing with a group of friends, then you need to pick a spot that's in the earlier biomes, probably in the Black Forest or the Meadows near a swamp because most people don't really get that much further. The people who get into the mountains and the plains, they really like Valheim, and they'll probably play independently. But usually, a group who plays Valheim naturally will sort of organically cater off around the swamp. It really takes the dedicated players to go past that point. These things are important to keep in mind if you're playing with other people and you're trying to figure out where to put the most accessible base. Most of the time, your base should be somewhere near the ocean, in the black forest, or in the meadows. That's where most of the action is going to take place. So let's say you are with a new group of people. I would pick a spot that's close to the spawn, but near water and near the meadows, maybe somewhere here. Or if you wanted something more challenging, maybe something like here, to build in the black forest. Let's move forward and assume that you're somewhat of a Valheim veteran and you want to figure out where to make the best Valheim base for endgame stuff and in the future. You have to think about a couple different factors. I'm going to show you two great examples here. Here we have a meadows that's close to some mountains. There'll be some frost caves and various things here. So this would be a nice spot for a base because there's plenty of different biomes. There's uh, plains you could farm in here. There's iron from the swamp. There's meadows and black forest. This is an ideal little chunk of everything, essentially, except the mistlands. However, the water isn't very accessible here. So an even better final base spot is right here because there's a lot more plains. That means more goblin camps, more black metal, and this mountain, for whatever reason, is stuffed with frost caves. So, not only is this a great endgame place to access the plains area, but it's got ocean through a river access, and it's close to a lot of frost caves from the mountains. So this kind of area is a great place for your endgame base if you're looking to experience more of the challenging part of Valheim. However, let's say that you're taking it even further and you want an endgame base that works really well for the Mistlands. Well, what I encourage you to do then is find an area that has lots of Mistlands, but has like a little patch of Black Forest, something like that. Then you can build a cool base in the relative safety of the Black Forest, but basically be right in the middle of the Mistlands. And this is something I've done personally, and it works quite well. Additionally, you might want to consider future content. As of me making this video, the Ashlands aren't out yet. But I know that when the Ashlands come out, I'm going to want to be able to load up a server and play the Ashlands, not have to start from the very beginning and do everything else. For me, this is my ideal endgame base spot. It's where a goblin camp used to be, so it's pretty flat. It's in the plains, which means I can farm most food that's available. And the idea is to build a big dock with lots of different ships, because this spot is really close to all of these Ashlands. So that way, when I go off and go on an adventure and inevitably die at some point in the Ashlands, I can come back to this base and then just jump in a ship and I'm ready to go explore. Because I've personally wasted a lot of time dying and having to go get my stuff. So this way, I'm prepared for that. But this is how I like to have my endgame base. Yours might be somewhere else. Maybe you don't want to prepare for the Ashlands. Maybe you want to just experience the Mistlands. And that's why this area, this dock, is surrounded by all of these Mistlands. You see? There's a whole bunch to explore. So really, you have to think about what biome are you going to spend most of your time in? And if you don't know how to answer that question, it's probably going to be the first three biomes. So the meadows, the black forest, and the swamp. And that's it for this video, everybody. If you want to support my work, then check out my video about purchasing your own dedicated server for your friends to play Valheim with. Wow. 
And that's it for this video, everybody. If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing your own Valheim server. You can check out my tutorial about setting it up. You can also comment below if there's something you'd like me to make a tutorial about. I love to make videos in response to the comments that people make. I really enjoy that, and I find that it's a great way for me to connect with my viewers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!